Good morning and happy Wednesday. Um, I just want to share a video with you guys. I do daily devotionals with the youth every day on their Instagram page. So I just wanted to share the devotional that I did this morning with them. I hope you enjoy it. Okay, well, more people are coming on, so I'm gonna get started. Um, so I hope everyone's having a good morning, or yeah, it's the morning. And um, it's a beautiful day outside. Stay safe today as the weather is probably gonna get a little, little dicey this afternoon. Um, but um, today we finished this past, we've done 10 days of Psalms 23. So we finished that yesterday. And so now today I wanted to start reading a few scriptures and passages from just the passion story. And so I found um, a devotional on Matthew 26, 36 through 38. And it's about when Jesus goes um, to pray and his friends are with him. And, um, and this devotional talks about being weary and tired when we're needed the most. Cause I don't know about you all, but I'm, I'm feeling like I'm pretty, like, I feel like I am needed a lot. Um, you know, checking on people and, um, family and friends. And, but at the same time, I am tired because I'm readjusting and learning how to do all of these things. So I'm going to read the scripture and we'll talk a little bit more about it. All right. So, um, Matthew 26, 36 through 38. Then Jesus went with his disciples to a place called Gethsemane. I can never say that. Gethsemane. <laughs> it's okay. And he said to them, sit here while I go over there and pray. He took Peter and the two sons of Zebedee along with him, and he began to be sorrowful and troubled. Then he said to them, my soul is overwhelmed with sorrow to the point of death. Stay here and keep watch with me. So, um... These disciples, you know, they're, they're Jesus' friends. They've been with him the last three years, and they really have stuck by him. And in this one moment where um, they really, really, you know, want to be helping Jesus, they're just tired. They just, you know, had a really long week. They just had a big meal. It's late, and they're trying to pray, and then they fall asleep. And I can't help to say that I probably would be the same way. I would probably um, do something very similar. Um, and we've all been in those moments where we have those friends, our family members who are just needing us a lot. And we're just like, I don't have anything else to say or help. And you might want to, you might avoid their phone call or avoid their text message. Um, but, um, that's, that's when they need us the most. And right now, especially, we all have been going through, um, this time where we are, Maybe our patience is thin. Maybe we're we're tired of and weary of helping. And um, I just encourage you to continue to check on your friends. Continue to be patient with your family members because we are all going through something. We're all reacting differently, and we all just need that grace and patience. And we need to like help them even when it's um, difficult. So I wanted to end this with um, just a couple sentences at the end of this end of this devotional. And it says, sometimes those who need us most ask for more. But if we can, with all that we have, we must stand there with them, strong and ready to be their advocate, their rock, and their friend. Don't fall asleep on your friends and family. They need you and they need, and you need them. And so just remember that because, you know, all of our patients are getting thin and weary. So, but know that you are needed um, and just be their rock and their advocate and their friend. Um, so that's what I have for you all today. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Enjoy the sunshine while you can, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Have a good day. Bye.